Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a ticket system for your IT staff. The same techniques that I'm using in this demo can of course be used for any kind of issue tracking that you might want to use. I'm going to go into the site contents and add an app. And there are in fact two apps that you can use for issue tracking. It's the tasks and it's the one called issue tracking. In this case, I'm going to start with the issue tracking, but most of what I'm showing in this demo is also applicable to the tasks. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to call it IT tickets, then click create. And the first thing I'm going to do after that is make sure that it sticks and it doesn't get removed from recent, which is actually does automatically after 48 hours and save that. And then I'm going to go into the settings. And of course I can do that from there or just under the list tab there and list settings. Then I'm going to make sure that the versioning settings is turned on. And when I start with the issue tracking template, that it is actually turned on by default. So that's good because that's something that you really want in your tickets. As you see, the issues tracking here doesn't really have that many views. You can, of course, create your own, which I will do later. But the all issues, active issues and my issues are rather good starting points. I can go into list settings and modify what columns I want there. As you see, I have the title. You do want that. You modify it. That's fine. You can't get rid of that one. Assign to, that's of course one you want. And the assign to is by default no to allow multiple selection. There should always be one person that's responsible. If you want to assign other people to the same task, I would recommend adding another field, maybe stakeholders or something like that, instead of allowing multiple selections here, because that does create problems in some scenarios, especially when you want to group by assign to, which doesn't really work on allow multiple selections. So back to the list of columns, I'm gonna look at the due date, the category. Of course, I'm gonna modify the categories, and the categories, as you see there, one, two, three there. It's not very good categories. So I'm going to type in software, hardware, and user problems. And of course, you do want to put these in alphabetical order. SharePoint does not do that for you. So that's the proper order. And the default, you might want to leave that to hardware, which is the first one in alphabetical order, or you just might just want to clear that. So I'm going to clear it and then click OK. So that's um, the second thing I'm doing here of real importance that I'm changing the categories. Versioning is very important and then the categories, of course, if you have those. Then the related issues. In my experience, most tickets within my fixtures organization are small tickets that are not related to anything else. So I'm going to remove the related issues here. Just going to delete that column there. So that concludes my demo on getting started with an IT tickets list. In um, subsequent demonstrations, I'll show you how to customize this a lot more. Thank you for watching this demo.